Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed that puzzle and you were able to find the you know best continuation for white. So let us see what is happening in this position. I'll remove the arrow, uh, or at least I'll try. Here we go. Yeah. So uh, I think material-wise it is equal, and you know a normal move from black would be like knight to d5. And I think, you know, this move positionally looks very desirable. The knight sits on a nice square. You know, uh, there could be ideas of knight f4 someday. Yeah, also white's last move opened up the diagonal for the bishop. So it does look, you know, like the last move, uh, even though it opens up the diagonal for his own bishops, you know, the white's bishop on d3 also gave black some counterplay. So that's just, you know, Positionally, what might be going on? Uh, also, long term in the position, there is a two versus one uh, majority, a pawn majority for black on the queen side. But uh, those long term considerations, you know, have to be <laughs> thrown out of the window when your opponent plays a move like bishop takes f3. And yeah, now you know you need to uh, put on your calculation hat and start to calculate. So obviously. We need to, this is a sharp move, you know, black just captured a knight and attacked our queen. And we need to find, you know, how to respond. So I think a good way to approach this would be to come up with some candidate moves in this very position. So let's look at the candidate moves for white. The most obvious move is, of course, queen captures bishop. Uh, yeah, so that's one. Pawn captures is possible, looks ugly, but possible. That's another. And another candidate, which I'm sure you saw, is uh, pawn captures knight. So you capture my knight, I take your knight. And you attack my queen, I attack your queen. Okay, so any other candidates after bishop takes f3? Uh, simply moving the queen could be an option, could be considered. So let's say, I don't really know. Let's say queen e1. <clears throat> That's possible too. Let's say something like that. Moving the queen somewhere. You know, queen e1, queen e3 kind of moves. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So now, let's look at some easier ones. So, bishop takes f3. If g takes f3, uh, yeah, black can, I think, simply uh, move the knight. And if queen e4 g6 and black is doing okay probably yeah so there may be better moves like some queen g5 might be possible yeah so white didn't really gain anything and he spoiled his kingside pawn structure so not very nice and if you take then now the point the positional point sort of is gets revealed the idea is black you know back here wants to take advantage of this d5 square that white weakened with his previous move but if he does that directly then the poor bishop on b7 gets blocked so instead he makes this trade and then he would you know the knight would sit very nicely on d5 which is a you know outpost on the fifth rank yeah yeah definitely positionally white is black is doing pretty well uh, okay so even that doesn't look very appealing queen takes f3 and we can eliminate so that being the case and if we just look at you know a passive move a normal move like just moving the queen away then yeah uh, black can probably now you know do some uh, maybe some desperado sacrifices or maybe even pull it back and say well i captured your uh, knight and you let me go back and if you capture my knight i at least win a pawn you have an isolated pawn my rooks are gonna come you know and yeah uh, i think black has all the trumps in this position uh, yeah so that won't be great either so pretty much by the process of elimination and this part is easy we come to that you know e takes f6 really has to be considered so now at this very point both the queens are hanging and I'm sure you looked at, you know, uh, 
he takes my queen i take his queen and now if he takes the rook then you take his rook with check let's say he take back and you take back and you end up with a extra bishop that's wonderful looks like white is winning and you know if that's where you ended your calculation i would say you missed quite a bit now why do i say that so you know this idea of candidate moves it's not available just on the first move of a variation when we are calculating but there are options there are candidate moves for both sides on each move in a variation you know so not only on the first move should we think about what are our options and you know realize that e takes f6 has to be played but also on the second move black has options right so black can of course you know uh, take the queen and in which case yeah after this he does end up uh, losing if he saves his rook then yeah white does end up with an extra piece white is winning great but after uh, e takes f6 uh, he's not forced to take the queen you know he has other options for example if he takes this guy now you take this and you know you are remain we remain with an extra bishop but the important uh, move that had to be considered is black can play queen takes a3 black can give up his queen saying if you take my queen now i have captured a rook for it and now you i can take your queen now look who is ahead in material black black has two rooks white has a rook and bishop so queen takes a3 is the key move that you had to see you know if you didn't see this uh, i would consider that you know you didn't get this right so which is all right but you know something for you to think about so if you are using this videos for instruction you know to learn i would suggest that you know uh, you go back and figure out what in your thought process prevented you from noticing that black can capture the rook so then if that happens looks like that white is lost then huh well not so quickly <laughs> because again you know the big lesson from this you know problem is about candidate moves white is not forced to take his queen white has other options so let's look at the options uh queen if you know if he just captures the uh the bishop back then after probably a move like this uh, even if you threaten mate, I don't think you are in time to uh, give mate. Yeah, because this, there is this. So here white would be again losing. But white has the wonderful, you know, candidate move, which, by the way, while playing, you know, uh, e takes f6 back here, you had to anticipate queen takes a3 and that's when you should spot bishop takes h7 check it's a forcing move it's a check and has to be examined now there are two moves black can capture the bishop or he can go to h8 let's look at both capturing the bishop is easy now the point of this check is well my queen is hanging and also black's queen is hanging but by virtue of bringing the king to h7 i get to make my queen not be hanging make my queen safe with tempo check now no matter what black does you know if black blocks with the bishop i take it but otherwise uh, let's say something like this then i have time to take the queen and after black saves their bishop white is winning white has the extra queen okay so that didn't work very well so what about king h8 now queen c2 is not check and you know if queen c2 then uh, black will have time to save his own queen right yeah so and yeah so there it looks like you know uh, white may remain an exchange down possibly so instead after king h8 there is another check e f takes g7 which is again a check now uh, again two options possible 
if this check, then there is queen e5 check. Again, saving my queen from the bishop with check. If you attack me again, you can guess what kind of move black white will play. Again, another check. And now he finally takes the uh, queen. And again, he is doing well. And finally, if after f takes g7, if you take this one, then first of all, you know, uh, yeah, there's again this check, I think, yeah, and then you again take the queen. Yeah, so bishop takes f3 turns out to be a mistake. And the correct solution is e takes f6, anticipating queen takes a3, but then seeing the intermediate move intermezzo bishop takes at seven check and now yeah you save the queen no matter how the play proceeds and finally once the queen is safe you take black's queen yeah and white is doing very well okay i hope you enjoyed that problem a bit of a longer solution but yeah uh instructive problem about you know the value of candidate moves and noticing different options that both sides may have at each turn not only at the beginning okay if you enjoyed the video please you know uh, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up i will see you in the next video bye guys